Good afternoon everyone. Hey, I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you see Black Betty. She got a total makeover and major facelift. And I'm loving her and she's good to me and she's helping me get around really, really well. Um, so today I just wanted to show you and explain to you how my socket works. So as you guys can see, you can see these little panels on here. This is a Revo Fit from Click Medical and it's awesome for brand new amputees and we are going to share some really cool features about this. And my husband's going to really dive in and give you some really good information um, on how it works, why it's so great, and going from there. So we're just gonna go ahead and take this off and we're gonna hand it over to him. Okay, so today, as you guys know, Renee has gotten a new socket a couple days ago. One of the key things on her socket is the BOA system, or the design that was called the Revo Limb system. So the Revo Limb is a brand of Click Medical, and Click Medical uses BOA closures to effectively create an adjustable socket. Um, They've been around for a long time, and I'll get into the, how that works a little bit more, but basically, BOA started on snowboard boots, and it was a way to really speed up the lacing process and get a much, much, much better fit on the boot. This particular boot uses two BOA systems. There's an internal closure and an external, which is more like laces. The internal closure is really similar to what we're accomplishing here on the Revo limb. So... The way these dials work, you pull the dial out, that releases the spool. You're able to pull your laces loose, both sides, so I can now I can loosen up the inside. And I'm able to step right into the snowboard boot. When I'm ready to go, I get my foot in, crank down the inside, and this tightens up all around my foot until it's nice and snug. Situate the outside, push the button, crank it down. So I've just gone from having to lace two sets of laces on my snowboard boots and maybe gotten the pressure right, especially down in the bottom, because that was always the hardest part with tennis shoes even, um, to have an even pressure all the way, and I'm in and out in seconds. So what BOA did, or what Click Medical did, is they took the BOA systems and adapted it to medical uses. They use it on uh, wrist braces and different types of, uh, I guess, removable casts, um, above knee, below knee sockets, um, you know, upper extremity sockets. And it's the same exact dial. You can see these, these dials are identical. Um, same systems. What, what it does is they build this, this dial into your socket. Um, this is really a very traditional socket. There's nothing different between this and any other carbon socket other than these panels have been cut out and these dials this late, these lace channels have been laid into uh, the socket as it was as it was laminated. Uh, once they lay all these laces in and laminate over the top of it, then they come back with a cast saw, cut these things out, and thread this like a pair of tennis shoes almost. So, um, if you look inside, this is a standard pin lock system. There's the pin, standard liner. Nothing's really different about this system. Um, the way Renee uses it is with a flexible inner liner, which actually gives you a little more comfort, especially up around these higher edges, um, so that these the, the carbon fiber isn't digging in and you, you get a little bit more relief from where that rubs. Um, in her case, if she was to get into this socket in the morning, she would put her liner on. She probably wouldn't be wearing any socks at all. This is all the socks that she's gotten. Uh, and, and mind you that Renee is uh, not quite yet three months out from her amputation. But these are her socks. Five plies, three plies, two plies. Uh, one plies that she's cut down to fill volume in in different areas. Um, so when she gets in the morning, she's no plies. Three months out, she's no plies. She steps in and tightens her liner down or tightens the socket down and she's good to go. You know, in a half hour or so, she may say, okay, that's, well, usually what she does is, is tightens down a little bit more in a half hour. 
Maybe an hour after that, she'll tighten it down a little bit more as she sinks, as her volume in her leg changes. Um, at some point, it may max out the adjustability, so she'll pop it loose, pull her leg out, and usually go with a one-ply sock. Uh, maybe two of them throughout the day. But she's not using five plies. She's not using ten plies, which is where she was in her last socket. Uh, granted, volume changes and the residual limb changes and stops shrinking quite as much. Um, but we're talking about somebody who is extremely active. Uh, she put her leg on when she got it. The first couple days was a couple hours at a time. But now she wears her leg from 8 o'clock in the morning to 8 o'clock at night. Um, she runs on the treadmill with it. She does everything she needs to do with it. Um, and the volume change that she's having to deal with in socks is one, two, three plies versus um, 10 plies throughout the day, all because she's able to adjust this socket. Okay, so one of the other differences between the snowboard boots and the uh, Click Medical Systems or the Revo limbs, and I asked about this right up front because I was used to seeing metal laces. So metal laces, they have hard plastic guides that guide the laces. Um, and I thought, hey, you know, a cable lace, that's got to be pretty strong. Um, what I've learned is that in these systems, they actually use a cloth lace. Um, and it's probably actually really similar to the material that they use on the, the foot socks, which is a Spectra sock. Uh, it's really durable. Um, and the cloth actually has a higher tensile strength, so a higher resistance to snapping and abrasion than the metal cable. So that was just a question I had right off the bat. Um, you know, a lot of prosthetists, I think, are going to be hesitant on using a system like this. Um, it's another step. It's not necessarily something that they get, um, I don't know, maybe they do get quite a bit of money for it. I don't know. I don't, I, you know, the pricing is a little bit of a mystery, obviously, to all of us. Um, but it's also something that's relatively new. The cool thing about this technology is it's not new technology. It's been around for a long time. People worry about these pieces breaking, and as long as this is built right, this is actually removable, replaceable. The innards aren't, but the outside is. Um, and if the laces break, they can be relaced. The other thing is your prosthetist can order you these parts, show you how to replace them, show you how to relace this. And when you're on a trip like we are going to be shortly, um, if something happens, we don't need a prosthetist to fix this. So yes, it's an extra piece on your leg. Um, no, it really doesn't add a lot of extra weight. This socket is quite a bit lighter than uh, Renee's last test check socket. Um, but between the BOA system and the Rush foot, um, this socket has, has really transformed Renee's life um, from before her accident to now. Uh, uh, or I guess before her amputation surgery to now. She... Again, was only three months out from her amputation surgery. She really couldn't even walk before that. Three months now, and yesterday she just started running on the treadmill. So, uh, just wanted to give you guys an update on what is the BOA system. How does it work? Uh, because I don't think there's a lot of information out there that talks about this system. There's some pictures and there's some you know, stuff on how to build it for prosthetists, but there's not a lot of info for the end user, the amputee. Now you guys got some really good information on how it works, why it works, and how it's so beneficial to a brand new amputee. So we're going to put Black Betty on and I'm going to show you guys how it benefits me in my daily activities and when I'm like working out and or just hanging out around the house. So you can see you just got to away again. You gotta watch the pen, make sure it goes round. And as soon as it kind of stops moving, then you pop the sucker in and give her a couple good cranks until you kind of feel the pressure. Okay, so now we're gonna jump on the treadmill and I'll show you how awesome this is. Okay. So one of the great features is, is when you guys are working out, as you know, the volume in your leg 
it changes quite a bit. So all you'd have to really do versus stopping your workout, you would just have to reach down and give the boa a quick little spin, like so. And you're good to go, and you can continue to go versus stopping, taking your leg off, and actually putting another layer or a soft on or something along those lines. answers your guys' questions regarding the Revo Limb Fit System for your prosthetic. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that, you guys can go ahead and put them on my Facebook page or Instagram and make sure you leave a comment and you can also go to my YouTube page and like it and leave a comment there and I will get back to you. So I hope you guys all have a great day and stay active and eat healthy and move forward. See you later. Bye-bye.